Hi, welcome to America 2.0. This is from the Huff Post. Uh, politics. Um, you might have heard about this, you might not. Uh, a defense bill passes giving sacred Native American sites to mining company. Posted 12 12 2014. We not, might not know about this. U.S. Senate passed a measure authorizing nation's defense programs Friday, along with it, uh, along with it, managed to give lands to sacred lands sacred to Native Americans to foreign company that owns uranium mine with Iran. The $585 billion National Defense Authorization Act of 2015. So basically, the $555 Billion Dollar NDAA Act of 2015 is one of the must pass, uh, yeah, must pass pieces of legislation in Congress moves every year. But like they did in attaching uh, erroneous or extraneous, extraneous riders, must pass government funding bill lawmakers use defense bill as vehicle to pass a massive public land package. Bill sailed through on 89 to 11. Alright, I won't read all this. This is kind of crap. Um, many land, many of the land measures were popular, but one of the South Arizona Land Exchange uh, Conservation Act had twice failed to win the House Representative and blocked by conservatives, uh, conservationists and conservatives. Uh, the deal gives a subsidy of the Australian English mining firm Rio Tinto 2,400 acres of the Tanto National Forest in exchange for several other parcels it, so it can mine a massive copper deposit. Uh, the Iran connection comes from uranium mine of Nambi Namibia in which Tehran has owned a 15% stake since the day of the hash. Okay, so let me go ahead and tell you what the hell just happened. These guys are getting rich because they just sold Native American land to Iran with uranium. I'll let that sit in for a while. Oh yeah, it has copper. Yeah, it also has lots and lots of uranium. Uh, State Department spokesperson confirmed that the officials had discussed the site, but declined to say they could assure there were no violations or sanctions. Alrighty. So this came by Senator Tom uh, Coburn, R of Oklahoma, mounted a bid to strip the entire land package from the bill, but secured only 18 votes to its favor. Uh, Secretary John Kerry is successfully in negotiation to limit the regime's nuclear aspirations and sanctions are lifted. We are not going to speculate and hypothetic and on any hypotheticals. A Rio Tino official also declined to speculate, but noted under current sanctions, now be in law, it's impossible to buy out Iran shares. Or sever the tie. Well, then sever the tie. Uh, Native Americans, partly, particularly the Apache tribe in the area, say digging a massive mine under their ancestral lands will destroy sacred ceremony and burial grounds. Yeah, well, what do you think the nukes are going to do when they come here from Iran or Israel? Uh, the measures add into the NDAA largely thanks to the efforts of Senator John Kane, R of Arizona. Yeah, our prized American guy that came back a national hero, joined Congress, and is now killing the country more. What a guy. Uh, with fellow Arizona Republican Senator Jeff Flake. Sees the project as an economic boon to create 3,700 more jobs over several decades. Yeah, well, I'm not going to read this. this. This is too long. Uh, I was hoping for a video. I was hoping for a video.
All right, so this is it, right? Basically, they sold. They went ahead and they created a defense bill to push their little uh, Iranian-related uh, mining project in, and they're basically giving copper and uranium to uh, Iran through a defense bill. Through a defense bill. It's an unfortunate situation that it didn't mention the uh, the number on the defense bill, and I didn't mention this before, but this is by Michael uh, Nikolov. 